Hi everyone, this uh, video is just to go over the uh, coil here because there's uh, many people coming up with different concerns and all this kind of stuff. Um, here's my inductance meter here on the 200 millihenry setting and it is attached to the coil where the uh, MOSFET uh, circuit would be pulsing basically. Um, that is the inductance with the magnet as is as the previous uh, demo was test one so I haven't changed a thing I've attached the meter and uh, I'm not gonna pull off the magnet right now because I've got it you know adjusted uh, but uh, take my word for it this uh, inductance without the magnet is uh, 1053 uh, millihenries and with the magnets is only 44.6 uh, millihenries so basically uh, the magnet uh, reduces the coils inductance by exactly pretty well a thousand millihenries so that's the first uh, test here so you see that okay now I've attached my uh, ohmmeter here and the, pro the probes are attached across the coil and there is the meter on ohms and that is the DC resistance of that coil about 6.7 ohms 6.8 alright so obviously you see that and this here is a 10 ohm resistor if you don't believe me Ten ohm resistor connected. Meter is now registering 10.2, 10.1, and that is a precision 10 ohms resistor. That's a one percent. Okay. Now some people are saying they don't understand this experiment. What I'm what I'm trying to demonstrate here and what I'm doing is I'm pulsing this coil turning the coil on and off at a very specific frequency that frequency being 18.8 kHz in that range alright this right here right now is the peak to peak voltage of the uh, trigger of the gate for the MOSFET now unfortunately in the last video I wasn't thinking too much but my probe was at times 10 but I hadn't changed the software here to reflect the probe uh, setting so basically it was at the 1 volt uh, setting or the times 1 setting and now I've corrected that it's at the times a 10 setting so it's at a 10 volt division same position but now it is indicating a 10 volt uh, position here so there's the uh, pulse coming out of the uh, 555 timer to trigger the MOSFET at 22.6% duty cycle. All right. So right now the coil isn't connected. The battery is right here, which is connected to my meter here, the special meter that I built with a precision resistor to measure voltage and current. So here is voltage across that battery, 1.28 volts exactly. All right, and the leads are coming here. So this is the lead after the switch here. I still have my one ohm resistor here in the series at the entry here. My ground probes, uh, my grounds of my probes are at a common place right here at the negative side uh, coming from the uh, meter there. So what we'll do right now is, uh, as obviously you see, there's no current being used. It's zero, and the setting on the meter there is at the 200 uh, millivolts uh, setting. So it's at the most sensitive scale, and that across there is a precision one ohm resistor. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the uh, resistor here, this 10 ohm resistor. Okay, the circuit is functioning. As you see, we have, again, a flat line here for our pulses, right? And now I'll go ahead and connect 
the uh, 10 ohm resistor completely. The 10 ohm resistor is now connected. You see current going through. That is 24.8 milliamps being used right now. And if we look at the current being used, obviously we see there is current being used. Correct? That's reflecting it here, okay, on this. And there is the uh, data right there. Okay, so I'm not going to change anything. Everything is still the same. I just connected that resistor. So obviously this MOSFET is working. And if you think it's still not working, I'll take that MOSFET out. And I'll put another MOSFET in. Same MOSFET. Okay, same thing. 24.8 milliamps being used. Same current being used here as well. Okay. So now, I'll disconnect the resistor and go and connect to the coil, which we know has a DC resistance and it is a real resistor. I'm now connected to the coil. Look at the current. Nothing. Zero. I haven't changed anything. There is the current being used. Nothing. It's flat line. Still the same. Okay, still the same frequency, still the same settings. Okay, well, maybe that MOSFET is bad as well. Well, you know, I can take the MOSFET out, no problem. Put this other MOSFET in. Okay, still zero. We still have a flat line here. Okay, the other thing we haven't done is we haven't disconnected the battery. So let's take away the battery. And if we look at our voltage on the meter, the voltage is now climbing, meaning that there's energy going back into the uh, circuit. All right. So now you're saying, well, you know, he paused the camera, he made some changes, he made a trick, there's something happening. It's still uh, obviously maybe not pulsing, something's fishy. Uh, let's go ahead and just connect the 10 ohm resistor. So you see the voltage has gone up to 1.3 volts. Connect the 10 ohm resistor and current is being used and bingo, nothing is left. Nothing has been changed, still the same thing going on and now we connect the coil now here's a question that was asked is if the coil is connected will it rejuvenate itself well it won't we need to get the battery to get the effect started I don't know why it does this it kind of goes in a negative mode uh, that may be a gate residual uh, energy or something like that but here goes here's the battery is connected now and we've got our 1.279 uh, 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 or 1.28 uh, volts there. And now that's enough to trigger the whole thing. Once you get the voltage, you can remove the battery. And now the circuit will start uh, rebuilding itself or self-run itself. So it's self-running coil that's taking no energy. As a matter of fact, seems to be sending energy back. So that's obviously showing you, you know, that there's no source connected there. And now the battery, if we disconnect our huge battery here, hey, the energy can be coming from that. So let's go ahead and now just connect a 9 volt uh, battery here and see what happens. We now have a 9 volt battery feeding our 555 timer switch turning on and off the MOSFET. And what's going on, still no current being used, and still our capacitor is being charged. Uh, again, flat line here. And now you can see the voltage is less, uh, the peak to peak on the uh, MOSFET uh, gate. Uh, but the circuit is still uh, in operation and is not draining the capacitor. 
So I don't know what more I can do here to show you that this is uh, real. Uh, and that's about all I will do for today. Thanks. Bye now.